You are not alone. I am here with you. You my little wah! Well, hello again, internet. It's me, Corinne. Ugh, where's Rob? And you're watching Corinne vs. Pin. Today's project is super exciting. A, because it is an OG Pinterest legend, and B, it's something I've secretly been coveting since I saw it on the good old internets. That's right, today I'm making a moss bath mat. And I'm gonna have lots of help from my special little helper, Kitty. All right, little kitty fucker. Hey, kitty. In the shot. I'm gonna have to evict you from the room. All right, all right. <laughs> Not only has this project been suggested thousands of times, but I am also slowly turning my bathroom into a fairy forest oasis. So this will fit right in to the craziness. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, so I have a pretty good idea on how these things are made, but I figured it would behoove me to do a little research first. And the first vlog that I came across was this one. It has a ton of great pointers, but as I continued reading, I slowly started to realize that the writer of this vlog has never actually made a fucking moss bath mat. What the hell, buddy? That's all right though, because these projects are my specialty. Raindrop cake? No, still not over that one. Moss bath mat? Right up my alley. Not a good saying. So the first thing I had to do was procure some high density foam, which was not that easy to be honest, especially since the stupid blog post points to this stuff on Amazon, which is not the right freaking color. So that's not gonna work for me, all right? After an extensive amount of research though, I found this stuff from foammart.com, go figure. I also ordered the moss online. I guess I could have gone out into the forest and collected my own, but it's hot outside and I'm afraid of ticks. So there's that. The only problem with ordering this stuff on the internet is that I had to wait two weeks for it. I want my stuff now! Internet, instant gratification. When are 3D printers gonna be able to print moss, huh? But it was an exciting day when it finally came in the mail though. Moss. Have any funny moss jokes? No moss. All right, we're ready to get this party started. All I gotta do is unwrap the foam and, and I just don't understand why it's so heavily packaged. It took me 20 fucking minutes to try to get this shit out of here. It's foam. It doesn't need that much protection. It is the protection. I don't understand. Moving right along. I am very happy with the quality of the foam though. I think this is gonna work out real well. Next, I got out some cardboard and drew out a rough shape of what I want my mat to look like. And it took me a few times because <laughs> I messed up the first couple times and it looked like crap. Also, I have the least helpful assistant in the world. Slowing me down, kitty. It's also not very easy to cut things out of cardboard. Even with an X-Acto knife, this shit took forever. I think this is actually the hardest part of the project. It did, however, come out pretty good, so I guess it was worth it. Thanks for all the help, kitty. Next, I traced the two outlines onto my foam with the Sharpie. This worked out pretty well, too. Good job, team. Then I tried to cut out the shapes with the same X-Acto blade that I used for the cardboard. And this did not work. Maybe some scissors will work? No, 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 definitely not. Makes the edges all wonky looking and I can't have that because I'm crazy and I need it to be perfect. So I found this X-Acto blade and you know what? It worked a shit ton better. Thank goodness, cause I was about to pack it all in and give up. We did it, kitty. This next part though is gonna be a little challenging, I think. Okay, so the moss comes mailed to you all dried out, which was a little scary. I was afraid it was dead, but this piece of paper that comes in the moss box tells you to abandon everything you think you know about plants because moss doesn't have roots. Yeah, some freaky alien shit right there. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is use the dried out pieces of moss as the actual outline for the shapes that I'm gonna cut out of the foam. And then after I cut the shape out of the foam, I put that piece of moss on top of it so I know what goes where when we're all ready to put the moss in the mat. Fucking genius. It's like a puzzle. Riddle me this. Batman. After three hours, yeah, three hours, I was finally done cutting all my little shapes out of the foam. And you know what? I feel like a freaking champion. We are the champions, my friends. Boom, boom, boom. 
By the way, Republicans, not okay for you to use that song in your little convention. I think it looks pretty dang cool already. Next, I did something really dumb and sprayed this layer of foam with some spray adhesive and I failed to open a window, probably should have done it outside, and now this room has to be evacuated for a while because the fumes might kill me. And the it did, however, really help with the positioning of things. I also went around all the edges with a hot glue gun for added security. Looking good, huh, kitty? Yeah, no thanks to you, bud. Now, the real fun begins. I also got this stuff from the same company that I ordered the moss from, and what I have to do is sprinkle a little bit in one of the sections, and then take the corresponding piece of moss and submerge it for about 10 seconds into a bucket of water. This apparently reactivates the moss. Alien shit. Okay, then I just have to spray the moss tack with a little bit of water and then press the moss piece down into that section. <laughs> and voila! Fucking awesome! Now I just have to repeat those steps about a billion more times. <laughs> Yes, it takes quite a bit of work and patience and definitely lots of time. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Meow, 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 meow. And my f***ing assistant totally gave up on me. What the hell, kitty? At least Tim Riggins is there for me. This project up to this point has taken 10 episodes of Friday Night Lights. That's a long f***ing time. And by the way, this may or may not be the fourth time I've watched this series. Call me Tim. I did it though. I did it. No thanks to you, kitty. And actually, I think this thing looks f***ing awesome. I'm very excited about how this turned out. Pretty proud of myself. Yes, there you go. Congratulations. Yeah, that's me patting myself on the back. Somebody's got to do it. Now I just have to put it in its new home. And yes, this thing rocks. You know, like moss likes rocks. Yeah, okay. So this thing apparently is supposed to be able to survive just on the water that you shed from getting out of the shower, but I don't think I shower enough for that to be the case. So <laughs> I think that I'm gonna have to give it some extra squirts here and there, and that means that it may not survive, to be honest. I'm also just a little concerned that my cat is going to destroy it or die from eating it. Is this stuff poisonous to cats? And then there's a concern about bugs living in it. Yeah, that's concerning, but it's so freaking pretty, right? Who cares? Sorry, kitty. Just kitty-ing. You know I love you. Well, I think that's it for this week. As always, we want to know your project suggestions. Leave them in a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like up this video, follow us on all our Snapchats, Twitters, and Facebooks, and Instagrams. That's not too much to ask, is it? I don't think so. Until next time.